For more than two months, time has stood still in these halls. A pandemic closed these places that were made for people, but soon they'll walk here again. Sometimes it's quite crowded here, you know, and it won't be like that. So we're hoping that people will have a sense of um, security and comfort as they're coming through. Not that they didn't before, but the environment that they're coming from and that we're living in is very different. Across the country, museums and galleries shuttered due to COVID-19 are gradually coming back to life. Art is activated by its audiences. So it's been a little bit like a haunted house. At the Art Gallery of South Australia, this little piggy is about to be back on show. After 10 weeks, the gallery will reopen on Friday. To be able to repaint, refresh, recarpet, rethink has been a gift in many ways. Like most, it's pivoted to digital during the pandemic. Like most of you, I'm working from home, um, away from the gallery, away from the collections. That but digital doesn't pay the bills, and now it's a case of shifting back which is complicated. We have uh, essentially 25 galleries uh, and we have worked out maximum numbers for every space. We know what the maximum of all of those rooms are. Museums and galleries will look very different now, with fewer ticketed events and public programs, more digital events, fewer interactive exhibits requiring touch, no exhibits from overseas for now, fewer people allowed, and in some cases timed entry, or a requirement to sign in. Closed borders will pose big issues for those who are reliant on tourists, like the Museum and Art Gallery of the Northern Territory. It was the first in the country to reopen, but numbers are down 80%. We've really only got a 20% visitation on what we would normally do um, for this last week as we would have the, previous, uh, the same week last year. Even with the challenges, there are big smiles. Lots of people are excited walking in. The contemporary telling of stories and how we're telling those stories, it helps people think of and look for something bigger than themselves. Everyone is adjusting. We have one wonderful artwork which involves drapes that people have to walk through. Now clearly that's not going to be possible. The Museum of Contemporary Art in Sydney will reopen on the 16th of June amid uncertain times and an expected 40% drop in revenue. That's the, the, the venues business, uh, parties, weddings, etc, etc, corporate functions. Uh, that's a very significant part of our, of our income and it's, yes, it's a little scary. We're opening the doors, but the financials are going to be tricky. State government funding will help, but tricky or not, these institutions know that art and culture is priceless. Work of art may be wonderful on its own, but unless it has an audience, it really lacks something. It's going to be a great day for me when we can open again. So they would make miniatures. In time, the pandemic will be history. We reflect history, we interpret that and try and make sense of the future with our visitors. And it's already being written. People out there can go online and contribute the stories now. We felt it was really important to start documenting this as it's happening. Soon a global health crisis will be just another exhibit within these walls. Zoe Daniel, ABC News.